Hello friends, welcome back to Sales 3D Pro Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can uh, do earthwork plan and production. Well, when you do your earthwork calculation, you need to show your uh, cut values, fill values, existing ground and proposed ground, and you have to show it on grid. So let's see how we can do it. In Sales 3D 21, that's a new uh, function. If you go to one analyst tool, here you can get a new function here, Earthwork Plan Production. You can click here. And what you need to do, you need to select your existing ground, your proposed ground, you can select your grid. Also, you can select uh, various methods for calculating the earthwork. And uh, Next, what you can do in display setting, you can change various setting. You want to change colors, you want to ch uh, change the text size and uh, text, uh, anything you can change over here. Once you do all those settings, click OK, uh, check your grid, check your surface and click OK. And it's done. And you can see that your earthwork uh, plant production is ready. So you can see here it is your cut levels, you, your existing ground level, your proposed ground level, and also it gives you the volume inside that box. So you could change always that 20 interval, you can change it to 10 interval, and it gives you cut volume around this and around that. So this is a one method of uh, doing earthwork. Uh, plant production but the drawback of this method that is not dynamic so in case you want to change your surface then this value uh, values wouldn't change so that is a drawback of this method but you can always quickly create this when you can select this and it's now autocad identity so you can delete and you can anytime quickly create that that's a uh, positive Another method of creating uh, artwork plant production is by using annotation tool and go to the label, go to your surface and select spot elevation on grid. Here it asking you select your surface, so I'm going to select my cut and fill surface and then it asking you select a base point, so I'm selecting my base point somewhere here. Now it is asking me rotation as you can see here so click 0 and asking you grid let's say 15x 15y and it is asking you upper right corner so select this. So what it can do uh, it will give the point to the surface inside this window so you now click enter and you can see my surface levels are there. Now this is I selected my cut and fill surface that's why it's just giving me cut and fill volume. Now if I wanted to add uh, my proposed and existing ground in the same how I can add that. So what I do, I go to uh, select the styles, right click and go to the edit label styles and what I do I go create a copy of this kind of styles okay you can give any name you want in layout tab you can go over here and you can add a reference text where you can select the surface so if i want to add propose an existing surface level i can add by this so i'll go over here and select the surface give the name proposed go to the label text and add surface elevation you can change precision and color anything you want click ok done now let's set it i go to select pan and let's see uh, how it comes so let's some set some value i'll set itself to surface elevation one okay and select my middle right and give the x offset to one meter at least two meter all right and if you want to give the color you can give it to colors to differentiate i'll give it to pink all right 
Now I add one more surface for existing brown. So let's say one more reference text. Select your surface. Again, give it to name existing. Go to label text and select surface elevation. Click OK. Now let's set this one to propose and should be middle center so you can see i'm setting uh, where it actually sits and let's give five offset to minus two at least minus five all right you can change your text height and anything i'll give it this to color uh let's say shan all right and now click apply and okay and okay now once you select this layer and go to the property you can see here it's display reference text here so here you can select your proposed ground and your existing ground and you can see the level appear here you can edit those text to suit properly so i'll go once again go to my edit label style and this time i go to edit color styles what I can do, let's propose x offset should be 3 or let's say 4. So it would be away, it wouldn't be overlap. Click apply and OK and OK. So then that's where you can set your styles. Now I have to apply all the style here. What I can do, I just select all, delete. Now I go to my setting tab go to the surface right click edit feature settings here i go to the default style and you can see surface spot elevation style so instead of the elevation i will select the style i created elevation copy you can give the name click apply okay <coughs> now again go and create my surface uh, level surface spot elevation on grid select your surface you can select any surface cut and fill click ok select a uh, point below grid rotation 0 x spacing so 15 y spacing 15 and the end point and ok now here you can see it is asking you select surface for label style component propose so right click and select your propose surface Again, it's asking select surface for label saying so existing. Let's select existing and click OK, and it's appear everywhere. So, this is another way you can create your artwork plan products, and you can so propose, you can so existing star uh, level, and you can show the cut fill level, and you can show it you know, on your entire grid. Alright, thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope this will be useful.